Hi, I'm Dr. Janine Krippner, a volcanologist, and this is my guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Bohan from the Incorporated Research Institutions for Seismology. Thank you so much for being here on very short notice. Um, I got a question on Twitter, so I'm bringing in a seismo person, and it's about this really neat diagram that we can see that iris makes during an earthquake. Can you please explain what this is? Absolutely. I love these. They're called ground motion visualizations or GMVs. Each one of those little dots is a seismic station. And what you're seeing are the waves from Utah earthquake radiating out in all directions being picked up by seismometers across North America. A few things to keep in mind. As the waves move away from Utah, they are very, very small, too small to be felt by people, but large enough to be detected by our sensitive seismic instruments. The scale is along the bottom and it's in nanometers. So we're talking about less than the width of a human hair. Okay, so really small. And what you're seeing when the dot turns red, means the ground is moving up. When the dot turns blue, that means the ground is moving down. So you're seeing the waves radiate out in all directions, just like ripples in a pond. And in some cases, you're even seeing the waves that are going down into the air and coming back up as they reflect off of boundaries inside of our amazing Earth. That is so cool. I love seismology. Thank you for being on Twitter, seismology. Absolutely. It's so great uh, to get to know people and to answer questions. We generate these automatically after any magnitude 6.5 or greater because this was an earthquake that had a lot of interest. Uh, we put this one out special. So uh, be sure to go to iris.edu if you want to see more ground motion visualizations of earthquakes from around the world. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining Thank me for the earthquake moment. <laughs>